Disruption has become the buzzword across industries and businesses of all sizes. It is used, overused, and in many cases, misused to describe any novel product or service. However, what exactly is disruption, and when can a product or service be termed disruptive innovation? American scholar Clayton M. Christensen coined the word disruptive innovation in 1995. He described disruption as a process where a small company with fewer resources successfully takes on an established incumbent business. When established businesses focus on improving their products or services for their high-end, more profitable consumers, they tend to ignore the needs of the lower-end segment of consumers. This is where the disruptors swoop in. They target the neglected consumer segment, offering them a cheaper, better solution. However, there is no fixed definition for disruptive innovation. There are even conflicting arguments about what exemplifies disruptive innovation. According to Christensen, Uber was not a disruptive innovation. His reason being, Uber is an incremental innovation over the existing taxi industry. He said that Uber did not start from a low-end market. In fact, it was started as a platform for on-demand luxury black cars. Many do not agree with him. Uber did not start as a cheaper alternative to taxis until the launch of UberX. UberX was the game-changer that made taxis accessible at the tap of a phone, without any haggling and via online payment. It also created a market of consumers who would otherwise rarely ride taxis. The digital revolution is what fueled this innovation boom. The internet itself was a disruptive innovation that has forced businesses to keep innovating to stay relevant in the market. Fields like marketing and advertising have become more and more digital, pushing out their physical counterparts. The textbook example of disruptive innovation are Netflix and Airbnb. Netflix started off as a DVD rental by mail model. It targeted a lower-end segment of people willing to wait for a new movie instead of watching it on the release day. It pushed the industry giant Blockbuster into bankruptcy. When video streaming started to threaten its existence, Netflix also jumped on board and has now left TV cable companies and theaters in peril. Another major disruptor, Airbnb, offers affordable, short-term rental accommodation with a seamless experience using its app and allows hosts and travelers to interact directly. This has changed the game in both the tourism and hospitality industry, but also the real estate business. Without the internet, the successes of the likes of Netflix, Uber, Airbnb would not have been possible. It gave disruptive innovation a massive boost. Of course, there was disruptive innovation before the internet. The printing press, for example, was one of the first disruptive innovations. It automated work done individually by scribes, reducing the time and cost involved, and gave rise to mass communication and large-scale dissemination of knowledge. While there's no clear formula for disruptive innovation, there are certain factors prospective disruptors should consider. Find opportunities in an existing market where demands of a customer segment are not being met. While the incumbent established business in the field focuses on incremental innovation to cater to their most profitable consumers, target their lower-end customers. Provide a better and more accessible solution at a lower cost. Improve the customer experience. Leverage technology to the fullest. Technology is what is common to most of our major disruptors today. Consider Airbnb and Uber. They do not own any property or cars, but dominate their respective markets through technology. By its very nature, disruptive innovation is unpredictable. While there are definitions and recommendations, any disruptor's road to success and the subsequent consequences are unique so we never know where the next disruptive innovation will come from. Let's recap. Disruptive innovation is a process where a small company with fewer resources successfully takes on an established incumbent business. The internet led to a boom in disruptive innovation by changing the paradigm in many industries. There are certain factors prospective disruptors should consider, including aiming at underserved markets and leveraging technology. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know in the comments what you'd like us to cover next.